can see Kafra's pyramid clear now. You see the white limestone that once covered the pyramid. So, uh, again, we can imagine what it was like when this one here equally had the white limestone. It did not, they did not finish it up like this with the rugged look that we see here. But when we take in consideration the fact that this structure has been standing over 4,500 years and the fact that the ingenuity of building this structure is still mind-blowing. As I said, unfortunately, it's only on the African continent that they want to consider that somebody else did and built things on the African continent. Whether we're looking at the pyramids here in, uh, at the, uh, in Giza or whether we're looking all the way down at the Cone Pyramids in Zimbabwe. Every time you see something great on the African continent, they attribute it to somebody else. When in fact, we see the phenotypes that we're going to see of the Kemetic Africans of the Nile Valley who actually built this. Europeans have done all kinds of things, trying to using seismograms and everything, trying to figure out how these structures were built. In fact, they used a little robot a few years ago, built by a German from a German from Germany, and uh, they put this little robot inside of one of the chambers, and they uh, had on the red uh, the documentary TV show, and a little robot went up inside of a little room and it. Uh, stuck the little camera down inside of one of the chambers of the pyramid and uh, they said, well, what did the robot see? And they said, it's a black man. And, they, and the white folks said, oh, really? A black man? Really? They said, yes, it was a black man. And that black man that they were referring to is Asar. It's Asar who is the lord of the perfect black. And the Zeptepi, or what is known as the creation story of ancient Kemet, that was thousands of years before Genesis, is Asar and Aset, who were created simultaneously, the name of our buses that we give Asar and Aset. Here we see in the spirit Ma'at of that divine balance, Ma'at meaning truth, justice, and righteousness, and reciprocity and balance. Here our ancestors said, for there to be a god, it must be a goddess, and for there to be a goddess, it must be a god. So Asar and Aset were created simultaneously. And that's what the robot saw was Asar inside of the chamber. And now they're doing all kinds of things, trying to justify the continual plunder of these structures. So every time that we see that they uh, do some excavations, they're still justifying tearing the pyramids apart, as well as Ra Huram Akit that you're going to see in a little while, later on today. The greatest colossal on the planet Earth that you may know as the Sphinx, where, uh, what's his name, Casey, who has all these dreams about the Hall of Records under the Huram Akit. But to get to these so-called Hall of Records, okay, you would have to tear Huram Akit apart to get to the Hall of Records. And they have not, through the excavations, have not found none of this stuff. Uh, the Hall of Records, okay, is witnessed in Aptu. Uh, there, the Hall of the Ancestors, you see 76 sultans or kings, where we see starting with Norma and ending with Seti during the time of the 19th Dynasty. That's a Hall of Records of 2,000 years of history. There's not a nation on the planet Earth can show you a 2,000 year time span that we will see that I will deal with uh, in the lectures and the upcoming lectures will come up. But again, we can see that these stones here are five tons each on the outer casing. And inside, of the, you'll uh, see inside of some of the other pyramids you'll go into tomorrow, those granite stones are 50 tons each. Again, it's mind boggling to even think about how they structured these stones to build in a perfect equilateral plane pyramid in the structure. What did they use? What science did they observe? They observed the science that's still with us today. It's all around us. Mother Nature. Everything of nature is in what? A spiraling motion. From the center of our forehead to the very fingerprint that you look at. And using the science of Mutnetchit spiraling motion, okay, that they have attributed now to a European named Fibonacci, when this science goes back thousands of years and ordered them to construct this structure like this here. That's the importance of the lectures that we will do. To give you visual documentation, not only to come here to see it, but also to have educational lectures so you can understand where we are. Most of the groups that come here, they're just coming here as looking groups. Most of them come up to the North Face where you sell most of the people at, taking their pictures, running around, jumping up and down, and then they get on the bus and leave. That's pretty much size up what they see here on the greatest structures on the planet Earth. But we like to walk through this area here just to let you feel the awesome power of this structure here. We're talking about the greatest structures on the planet Earth and right where you are now in the Giza Plateau. This is definitely a phenomenal place where they sit right here to build these structures here because of the science of geodesics. 
you're right now in the center of the earth where you, we are right now in the center of the earth. 